most mangoes in the U.S. come from Latin America. Fans of Pakistan mangoes that come in all kinds of varieties and flavors are always on the lookout for their favorite kinds. When people hear the Multan, Mangoes from Pakistan are hard to find in the United States, even though they are indigenous to that country and a big cash crop. Part of the reason is that trade deals have only allowed their imports into the U.S. since 2011. But the bigger problem is that it's expensive to import. The produce and packaging costs 30%, where 70% so is freight is and repackaging. The shipping solution because it costs 180 rupees to ship 1 kilogram of mango. U.S. importers are working with Pakistani producers and exporters to reduce the cost. Ryan Hollingsworth runs a facility for U.S. Department of Agriculture and provides exporters with packaging and distribution services. Working with the capacity issues, we've been able to get the freight numbers down a bit. The other problem is that Pakistani mangoes can't be sold in the United States until they have undergone irradiation treatment. This Mississippi plant is one of the places where imported fruit is irradiated. It requires to be irradiated. irradiated and it requires to be monitored by APHIS at this point in time. The regulations require that. And they are irradiated to sterilize any pests, such as the, the primary pest of concern is fruit fly. There are irradiation facilities in Pakistan, but they are not approved by U.S. regulators. And doing the irradiation in the U.S. raises import costs even further, but increases their shelf life. Generally on uh, Pakistani mangoes, they have a very high brick or sugar count. Um, those have a tendency to uh, ripen and swell faster. So although in a lot of different products we do get a rather long, long shelf life extension, with Pakistani mangoes we tend to get four to five days extra. The bottom line is that if you are a Pakistani mango eater, you'll have to pay about two to three times more than mangoes from other importers. But for the mango lovers living in the U.S., it's worth it. Asadullah Khalid, VOA News.